So this is going to be another really quick video. Um, I've got some PCB. This is uh, just single sided copper clad. And I spray painted it black with a couple coats of uh, matte. I think it's Krylon. Uh, anyways, I've also found, um, I just googled for a home etched PCB uh, test pattern. And this is a bit bigger than than my circuit board, so I'm just going to probably, you know, pick one side to do it on um, so that the numbers are actually representative. So I'm going to uh, fire up the laser cutter and um, see how all this works. Okay, so um, for now I'm just going to test it on this piece of plywood. I've got the uh, lens set to two inches so it should be in focus right on the surface of the uh, plywood. Um, got it open in VisiCut. I'm doing engrave everything and I'm going to do 1000 resolution. Okay. And um, I'm going to do 50% speed for the wood. So one thing I remembered that I should probably do is use um, a stamp engrave setting because what I really want is the areas around the traces to be cut rather than um, the traces, um, obviously. Also, there are these weird artifacts that I'm not sure there in the oh yeah they are there um, I ended up just using this board that I had already designed for Scotty Spectrum Analyzer um, as my test because it's got some relatively small features including this text and so it'll be a good test of something that I actually do um, rather than that test design which kind of uh, had some weird PDF errors. Alright, so there's a bug in VisiCut where if I invert my DXF that I exported from Eagle which is that board it just shows up as nothing but if you actually run it on the machine um, it seems like it's there just fine so I'm just doing it on um, plywood, and then when that's done, I'm going to drop on the PCB. So you can see the uh, the detail is fairly reasonable. Um, these points off to the sides there, those are tiny vias. Um, this is, I mean, this is frankly not really an appropriate board to make at home because it requires such small vias, but I still think it's a worthy test. So we'll drop on um, the PCB with black paint, close the lid, and run it again. That is really super bright. I have no interest in looking at that with my eyes. So that's pretty cool. There's definitely some weirdness though. I'm gonna brush that off with the, the toothbrush. So that's pretty good. Um, I it looks like there might still be a film of spray paint on there, and there's also these lines here. Um, so I'm gonna try it again, and I also realized that I didn't readjust the focus after putting this on top of the 
the plywood, so I'm going to try to tweak the focus and run it at half the speed and see what that does. So that quality is pretty reasonable. Um, it's probably on par with what I've achieved using toner transfer. Um, this is, you know, this is the one where I got the focus right and I ran it at 50% engraved speed. And you can see, you know, these little bunny ears where I have vias going to the ground plane. They're a little bit more defined than on the first one, which is good. The text is um, slightly more reasonable on this one because uh, the lines are really fine. And so um, I suspect the back and forth of the, engra in, uh, the engraving is causing you know some of those fine lines to be sort of decimated but um, yeah so the next step is to etch these and see how well they etch okay so it's all etched or the uh, resist is etched I'm gonna put it in my tray um, I use ferric chloride because I'm just old school like that I don't have obviously an agitator or anything like that. I just sort of rock the tray back and forth and my um, chemical is just slightly warmer than room temperature. So I know that causes the risk of under etching to go up, but I've had pretty decent luck with it in the past. So I'm going to try it with the laser cutter stuff and see what kind of detail I get out of it. So it doesn't really look like I'm actually touching the copper. I think there's some kind of a film on there. Okay, I tried rubbing alcohol and scouring it with the scotch Brite. Well, it's out of the etchant, and um, I gave it a quick polish with scotch Brite. Well, I, I took it out of the etch. I um, used acetone to take the paint off, and then um, just gave it a quick once-over with the scotch Brite. This is the 100% speed side, and you can see that it didn't quite get through the paint everywhere. And then this is the 50% side, and it did a pretty, pretty good job getting through it all. You can see that there are a few spots where the etch isn't so great. Um, right there for example you can see that there's a little bit of a hint of copper between those pads um, the text almost came out up there that almost came out okay um, overall I'm really pretty happy with this it's it sure beats toner transfer I'll say that for sure um, now this is obviously not a good PCB design for this process. Each one of those little bumps is a via. And so that's that's just way too small for homemade PCBs. And it doesn't have a ground plane. But it's definitely really encouraging. Um, I'm excited to uh, do more tests with it. I mean, I can make circuit boards now and I can make solder stencils, so that's pretty awesome alright well I think that's going to be it for this video uh, thanks for watching and as always subscribe and thumbs up if you liked it see you next time